Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, you're you, this is XCOM Terror from the Deep. And we're kind of experimenting at the moment. And losing a whole bunch of soldiers in the process, but you know. For science. Uh, you're not going to save time units anymore, you're just going to get yourself over there. Because I want to set up this uh, potentially lethal kill zone. I did you on that square, I think. Uh, but, but, but I probably want you on this square. Uh, kneeling. So yeah, we know there are two aliens inside the aircraft, right? They're not gonna move. Most likely. They're not gonna move outside, rather. Uh, but, but, but stop saving time units, just move. You and Helga are just gonna run. Where's Helga? Yeah, because what I, want, what, 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 is, what I want to see is if I shoot the far side of the UFO here, will that alien walk outside and try to kill whomever shot that shot? Because that's what it looked like here. This guy just decided, as soon as we shot the UFO here, he decided to move around this corner, right? There was a soldier right there. He didn't react to her. Not until she tried to shoot him. So I'm wondering if there's actually a way to bait out the uh, the aliens. And if there is, I dang well want to try to take advantage of it. You're going to be facing that direction. I don't... well, I'm a bit uncertain about Annette here. Will she shoot uh, Tim in the back? Possibly. Possibly. No, ideally I would have had the, the um, motion grenades. They would have been rather useful right now. Oh well. Yeah, next turn you'll actually be able to do what I want you to do. You guys are in position, and Helga is about to enter the uh, shooting area. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Next turn we'll be able to test. So again, we have a whole bunch of soldiers. They are in uh, shooting position, more or less. And hell guys, we're gonna wait with you. Hell guys, gonna shoot one time into the craft. I uh, don't worry about line of fire. Just scratch their paintwork, and then move closer. I uh, don't reserve the time units. You're not, you're not gonna get shot at. I just want to see if that provokes them to, to emerge from the UFO. No. Let's try again. I mean, it, it won't do anything to the UFO at all, but you know. That's not the point here. We want to see if it makes the aliens come out. <sighs> Alas, no, it doesn't look that way. Let's wait one turn. One more turn. No. Oh well. In that case, we'll have to do the insanely dangerous breach. And it is going to be insanely dangerous. This is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. But 
that was unfortunate because if this was a way to if, if this was a surefire way to provoke them from to leave the craft, we could just from now on rely on motion detection grenades, right? And clear the UFO safely. Alas, that doesn't seem to be the case. So So they are moving around inside there. And the problem with that is if uh, both of them are facing the door, Annette here is gonna die. They're not moving. The first alien moved. The others don't. There's an alien behind here. And he's facing us. We know this from, from the previous experience. So Annette's gonna get shot at no matter what she does right now. Except throw a grenade. But I don't really want to do that, the UFO is intact. Ah. And if I threw a grenade here, that's gonna blow up the engine as well, right? So... So not only did we lose the navigation unit, we lost this thing here, and she died. Boo! This is what I hate about uh, breaching UFOs, it's almost impossible. I want to see, by the way, I'm gonna reload again. I know I'm a sword loser. But, yeah. I, I want to see, I need to learn, I need to learn how, how the hell do we breach a UFO safely. Because there must be a way, right? Wait, this was at the start of the tu this turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Actually, let's test the provoke theory again. We know the aliens right there. So now we've essentially shot at him, right? We're most likely going to reload again. I just want to see, will that provoke this guy to go outside? Because I've shot at him. Is that the... at the... at the... Uh, trigger? Mm, apparently not. It might have triggered him to move, though. He was there earlier, wasn't he? Anyways, you have one chance to save your life, Uta. You have to hit this guy or you're dead. That's a sturdy guy. He, he took an AP round to the face and didn't die. Wow. The other alien should be here then. Uh, oh, <laughs> never mind. Um, facing away though. If you shoot, you're gonna shoot Unger in the back here, I think. So try to move you out of the way. Yeah, okay, so I can't provoke them to leave, which is kind of sad. I guess then that the only way to actually breach the... Either we have to get arsenal, a weapon arsenal capable of breaching the UFO, which you don't get until the end of the game, if I remember correctly. Or you'll just have to suffer this. Run in and get shot at. Because it looks like the aliens kind of decided to hang out there forever. I, want, I should have used a grenade, maybe. Would a grenade have provoked them? Because a grenade has uh, an extra range. We'll test that next game. <laughs> not this one. I think that was sort of the last two aliens. If not, Tim is gonna die here. Okay, I think we're I think we're good.
But yeah, I need I need to learn more about uh, breaching. Clearly. Anyways, two more dead soldiers. Still an okay rating though, so. We would have lost way more soldiers. Sure, now we get the alien containment. Oh well, no matter. The only annoying thing there is that, that that alien that was not killed... We didn't get score for that, did we? Because we didn't actually capture them alive. Oh, no matter. Onwards we go. There should be a terror mission fairly soon. A few more replacement soldiers, that's fine. Uh, I didn't lose equipment, right? I shouldn't, since we actually managed to uh, evacuate. Yeah. No matter. I could send out the Barracudas to scout again, but I don't th think we're actually gonna. I don't think we're actually gonna make much on that. Uh, Barcuda 2, you go. Oh, that's a large scout. Or at least eight aliens. Probably gonna take our entire arsenal to down it. Or not. Oh yeah, we need to buy more torpedoes. Whoops. I've been using torpedoes and not replacing them. That's a bit uh, problematic. Oh boy. <laughs> That's expensive. I mean, we have some alien stuff we can sell. Still. Uh, Triton should be fully equipped, yeah. If I could really warrant the expense and the storage space, I would probably bought one of the tanks. They're kind of good in the early, early game because they're going to be a hell of a lot more armored than your soldiers. How much would one cost? That's a Coelacanth gas. Oh, yeah, 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 we can't afford that at all. So be it. Touchdown. So there are going to be at least eight aliens in this UFO, if I recall correctly. Or if I understand correctly. Yeah, the facility is ready to go. This is probably a bad idea. It just means more weight for the soldiers, really. It is kind of unlikely that I'll get in a position where I can actually use the thermal sticks. Kind of depends. I mean, for the most part, we're going to be out in the open landscape. And uh, you kind of have to kill them from afar. But you never know. I am going to be more focused on killing them than I'm going to be on uh, on uh, stunning them, but I want, want the option at least. Oh, yeah. That's one of the, those things I don't like. <laughs> Open the door, see alien immediately. Ugh. Well, he doesn't see me right away though, that's a good thing. We could do snapshots, but I think we're gonna do one aim shot instead. Is it? Thank god, that means you can actually exit the craft safely. Good man, Mr. Severn. So, is this the edge of the map? We don't know yet. Okay. Well, at least there's some kind of protected terrain here in form of shipwrecks. That's something. I suppose. 
don't really see much here. I think I'm gonna try to move into the cover of that wreck. Four soldiers is probably enough. Given that we have one alien right on top of us, I suspect there are more that are very close. I don't really want to risk more soldiers than necessary. And on the other hand, I kind of want more guns out there. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, didn't see any movement. The turn went over rather quickly here. Which might mean that the UFO is heavily damaged. I.e. that there are a few aliens around. First things first, I need to know if this is the edge of the map. It is. Okay, good. Uh, there could be an alien hidden inside this wreckage. He's gonna move on that side. Yeah, you're gonna move on, on the inside of the craft here. On the wreckage. It should provide you some shelter. Kind of. Also means that you can't see the aliens, but you know. Can't have everything. And yeah, I think you're gonna stay right there. Thing is, though, that UFO is pretty large, and I still haven't seen. Why well, never mind? We see signs of it right down there, and it has definitely lost one engine. So I think it's safe to assume that at least one of the, uh, at least some of the aliens are dead. Which, wait. Okay, Yuri has no strength. <laughs> this guy has no strength. He moved one square. That was his limit. Yeah, I don't think he's really a heavy gunner. But you never know, at some point he'll get practice enough to actually walk around. Maybe. Worst case, he'll be out there and, t you know, take a shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to say, Yuri there isn't gonna be one of our... One of our uh, Keepers, if it doesn't shape up. Basically, any, basically any soldier that doesn't start with full a full complement of time units isn't really gonna be uh, our kind of dude. A bit too much of a heavy ordnance for them. Okay, definitely someone alive inside the craft, and the craft isn't completely damaged. Uh, is that a solid wall? Is that a half wall? Yeah, I don't think you can move across here though, so... Right? Uh, I don't think you can move across there, can you? Shouldn't be able to. Yeah, I'm gonna take my chances here. I don't think it, they're gonna be able to lob a grenade. Inside the whole uh, wreckage there. I hope not. Oh, don't go. No! I specifically didn't want it to go up there. Oh well. You're up there now. I think I'm gonna keep you guys inside the craft for a second. You are gonna move without saving time units. <laughs> yeah, this guy cannot save time units. Still a little poke around the corner here. Just in case. Kinda be sucky to uh, find an alien on our flank there. Well, whatever doors are still remaining are definitely in use. Um, so going out here is going to be dangerous. 
Because he's going to see through this uh, whole mess way sooner than I can. Uh, you know, either he's stepping out in and out on the front door here, or on the side door here, on the side door there. Either way, it's going to be rather, un rather uh, unfortunate for me. Can you go across there? You can go across there. Interesting. Anyways, Mr. Alfredo, you're uh, very much at risk. I think I'm going to leave you there. Uh, do I want you to kneel? I think I want, to, want you to kneel. In case that keeps you alive. That's one thing about this game. It's not always easy to see what's cover and what's not cover. This is so opening up myself up to a grenade. I know I shouldn't, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Unlikely that there aren't any other aliens out on the map. Alga, could you like exit the craft, please? Thank you. And move in this direction. Leave the last two inside the craft. It's fine. You're. There is actually a lot of breakage over here. Which is good. That allows me to approach the entrance here without uh, too much risk. Could be an alien hidden inside this cubby hole, of course. Uh, you're gonna move there. Yay. Can you jump down here? Please tell me you can jump down there. You can't jump down there, dang it. Have to go the long way. That's a pity. Oh well. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he didn't shoot back. There's one corpse there. He went through this door, he did not go through that door, so he's hiding right around here. Which means I'm kind of afraid to send Alfredo out there. He's gonna get shot at. I can almost guarantee that. But if I don't move forward, we're never gonna kill anything. Uh, where's the decoy? <laughs> Yuri! Yuri, my friend! Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, don't reserve time units. Didn't get shot at. It's gonna get shot at now, though. Um, <laughs> do I want to leave him out in the open? Maybe. I want to keep you there. Let's leave those now. I want to see if I can kill that alien or use uh, Yuri as bait. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but Yuri is one of our. It isn't. He isn't as good a soldier as the other as the others. Which is kind of, kind of why I'm okay with sending him in first to soak up that first uh, Overwatch shot. Which is why I'm not approaching with uh, Alfredo and friends. Okay, Melanie, uh, you're gonna go this way. Okay. 
Can you see anyone? In front of the craft. No, you can't. And I'm, you know, who cares about the snapshot? Just go in there. Stay safe. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, let's try this. Will Yuri die? That was two doors. Yuri didn't die. We didn't sight the alien anymore either. Either so. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, it's time for a break. Thank you for watching.